Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jenna Bosonko and I am a media personality in the Gambia. Like I said in my previous video, the reason why I'm coming up with this channel, J Sonko, is because I want all of you guys to connect me, with me in a very informal way. QTV is so structured, it's so formal, and most of the time all of you guys want to connect with me, have conversations with me, but you cannot. So this is your chance to get to have any conversation with me. So the last time I got my best friend, Hurenja, and we talked about a variety of stuff and one thing that really caught my attention is the fact that she got a counselor's uniform because I got one <laughs> that was like the funniest part of the entire conversation and I also have my friend here Fatu Ilikam Loshi she works for GRTS so the reason why I show you guys the people that I tend to connect with is just so you guys could understand who I am and who I want to associate with as a human being like it is said show me who your friends are and I'll show you who you are thank you so much for coming Quite right. Thank yeah. you so much. I'm happy to be here. Hey guys, I I don't know. It's so refreshing and, and very good to be here. And yeah. hello to all of you. Yeah. So Jay Songko, it's something that I wanted to do since last year. So last year, I just you know thought about the fact that QTV is so structured, and I mm. have a lot of fans. People just go to my YouTube channel and subscribe without me posting anything. Mm. So I just felt like, why are people doing that? It's because probably they want to see content from me. Mm. So this is something that. I actually advertised since last year, but couldn't do it. But I think the motivation is here now, and we are able to do it now. With <laughs> things that I'm not going to go into, yeah. maybe in, a, in another video, not today. Mm -hmm. So we're able to start it now, mm -hmm. and I think it's important that I get to connect with my friends, just mm -hmm. to chat with them, just so people could understand who my friends are as well, yeah. which is really important. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about how we met. <laughs> What do you remember? Yeah, so I think the, the most important part or the, the situation that comes to mind was at uni when we met at the ground because uh, prior to that, my best friend had already told me that she knows you, you're a debater, and um, since we're going to be in the whole journalism school, she yeah. thought that it would be nice that we, we know each other. Yeah. So I said, okay, uh, I'll, I'll find out and, and get to see. So we came and then I remember one time everyone else was there and then I saw you, you were in your hair tie and I don't know if my best friend was there on that day in fact, like she kind of called me and said, oh, can you meet Jay, Jay, so, yeah, yeah Muloshi, yes, yeah. I think it was yeah. something like that, yeah. yes, and I was like, oh, okay, it was nice meeting you and that was how it happened, yeah. so we all came to the class and eventually, I know it was not something that happened to all of a sudden yeah. like all it out. was like a gradual process it was a gradual process because for me it was a matter of looking at the class and yeah. looking at the people i feel like are kind of similar yeah. when it comes to expressing themselves when it comes to trying to get the things that they mm. want because mm. that is what i look out for i was not very much concerned about that i wasn't paying attention yeah. really i only knew a few people yeah. i have been to from those yeah. and the rest i wasn't sure so yeah. for me i'm i was just going with the flow yeah and i just don't i think somebody had told me this prior that in uni it all it happens naturally your crew yeah. kind of your click just happens. Yeah, happens i think that was how it happened with us i did not know how it how i could not really tell yeah how we thought it was be it would yeah. be nice to, for four of us to come together, together yeah. it just happened but obviously the reason why it happened is because of how we are yeah that's how i think it, yeah it was because of the click yeah yeah that's how i feel yeah. because i i cannot imagine myself with other people yeah. because of probably the way they think and how slow they are when it comes to the things that they want because I, I go for the things that I want. Yeah. So these, these were some of the things that I was looking out for mm -hmm. as a person. Mm -hmm. But like you said, it's a gradual process and it yeah. happens automatically. Yeah. And then the four of us just came together and it was called <laughs> it was the like Fantastic Four. four. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. was like, oh my God, yeah. this is the best moment yeah. in uni. Like, it yeah. was amazing. It was amazing. And it was so much growth. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, so I, I, I actually met you I saw you, we, we didn't get to talk, but I saw you at a debate competition, yeah. the Marina debate. Yeah. yeah, I saw you there. I think your performance was good, yeah. but your mates were in really good. Yeah. And in debating, if you, one person yeah. is good, it, it's not gonna work. Yeah. It has to be two good people to be mm -hmm. able to actually win it. Mm -hmm. I think that's how I saw you. Yeah. And eventually me and Debasin got to win the <laughs> whole thing. Yeah, because back then uh, in Dallas, I was also the head girl um, yeah. there in high school. All this council on everything junior school, I was basically everywhere. Yeah. So 
It's like everything that came when it had to do with representing the school yeah. had to be that. Pageants, even yeah. though that were, they were not my thing. Yeah. Debates, I had to be. Poetry, which is my thing, and yeah. I'm always happy to do. Yeah. yeah, so I was always basically there and just, you know, to make sure that we do something for the school and bring, raise the name of the school, amen. Yeah. And alhamdulillah, I, I did what I was, I was supposed to do yeah. on my part for the school. Yeah. And it's something that I'm always proud of. Yeah, I think that's part of the reasons why we clicked as well. Because if you look at Khadija, she did the same thing for her yeah. Yeah, she is also a yeah. great debater. Uh, but we didn't get along, I can remember, at a time. You and Kedi. Me and Kedi, because, because we, all I was always, debate we were all debate rivals. And I was always winning for some reason. I don't know why. Oh my God, <laughs> you guys. Yes, I was always winning these debates, no yeah. matter. I, I don't know. I just feel like mm -hmm. arguments and. Yeah, that, you are that person. You're boisterous. Like, yeah. You, you, you like to you know, um, yeah. defend, yeah. you know, so... It's, so I think, yeah, that came naturally, and that is one of, obviously, and at a time, sometimes, in debates, I wasn't even prepared, but the confidence just comes, and yeah. I just talk about few points, and we get to win. So, I remember when we also partnered at the, at, at the uni to yeah. debate for the school, and, you know, Jay was, like, always on me, like, we have to like we have to do it so that you yeah. can also get the scholarship yeah. because all of them got their scholarships through yeah. these debates yeah. and pageants and for me um pageant was not my thing yeah they really i was not vested in that yeah and all i know is my grades were great i graduated as yeah. one of the best art students got yeah. all my good grades but obviously with the scholarship thing uh, yeah. uh, i had a passing mass yeah mass yeah. was the oldest i had eight credits and yeah. a passing mass yeah and then eventually with the whole uni, I later came and got the good grade in maths yeah. as well. So I could get a scholarship at this point. Yeah, you, you But the whole have. Muloshi name came up and most of you who know me know the story, not to go into that. Yeah. So Jay and the other girls were like, no, yeah, you have to go too so that you can also yeah, get the scholarship. scholarship. So we got and we came second. Jay was not happy with the second. Yeah, I was not happy because <laughs> I think that was my fault. I, I didn't... told her that it was her fault Yeah. because she's like the you know, champion. Yeah, here. yeah. But I, I think on that particular day, my performance was not really good. Yeah, it wasn't really good. But, but it was great. I, mean, I, I was think okay our with previous the performances really yeah. boosted us because they didn't yeah, look at it, it previous, at that day. Yeah. They just didn't. Because yeah. for me, if they concentrated on that day, we yeah. could have come third. Yeah. But I think really and 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 i can remember when we finished mm -hmm. some of the judges came and said you you already raised the bar previously mm -hmm. and what, what, what went wrong no, i feel like you since know? the beginning of that day there was just something wrong with you yeah i was like morally, I was so restless i could see you were just not okay. okay so for me i i mean i just did what i could do yeah. and then we were so we came second and we got half scholarship yeah which but it's wasn't a good bad. thing yeah, yeah it's mean, a good thing at least even if it's not for the scholarship was but, the, the school was that the only time we won i think that's the only time we won. And Musa they won. won but not the vice chancellor oh, that that's the, the first time like the and it's the, biggest. Yeah, it's the biggest so that's the first time i think we won yeah, something we won like something, this yeah. which was good mm -hmm. and these are things that we can eventually add in our cv yeah. and we eventually went uh, went into the da uh, our da yeah. Uh, yeah sjdm yeah da we were doing that yeah and then i also moved on to the utg da yeah. with yeah. a camera we did and that others. yeah so, yeah it was nice and leadership at the university was so tough for me you can you remember when i wanted to go for the big union at the School of Journalism. Mm -hmm. I wanted to vie for vice president <laughs> and then something happened with everybody. I don't know if you remember that. I, I was so frustrated. The, I, I, I actually wanted to be voted yeah, as I vice know, president. I know you were doing and vice they president. already had a group of people <laughs> that actually wanted to go automatically without any voting. Yeah, so that's, yeah. that was what happened. Yeah. And at that time, I was so into leadership positions yeah, yeah. because prior to coming, I knew all the structures of the University of the Gambia. Mm -hmm. So I actually just wanted to get into it. Yeah. But when I got a job at QTV, it yeah. didn't matter to me anymore mm -hmm. because I had a lot of things on my plate. Mm -hmm. So leadership back in yeah. UTGDA or UTGSU was not really a concern for I me. How about you? Yeah, like, I personally was not so vested in that. Like, yeah. You know me, me personally, I just move uh, some I like I like I like to just move on with the flow and yeah. just attract things as they come. Yeah. Um I was it was not planned honestly, yeah. but I think leadership is something that's always in you. Yeah. Wherever you go it shines out. It's, Sometimes it it's not your fault. Yeah. Like people just see it and they feel like you should you should do it. You should. Because like if you don't even do it it will not be fair on your part because yeah. this is something you can do yeah. and you can actually you know allay people's fears and yeah. just solve people's yeah. problems. Yeah. So with the DA, I remember a camera approached me and, and spoke to me about it. I was not interested in doing yeah. it because the whole voting and whole politics yeah. thing, it's not something I get lucky yeah. in. I was not interested, yeah. but she, she was very lucky in, you know, getting me on board. Other people were like, I should go in yeah. for it. Yeah. And in the school too, with our 
SJDM the debate, aso yeah, yeah, debate association. Yeah. You were the PR. Yeah, I was the PR as well. Yeah. yeah. So I still took care of was the vice. Vice. I, I don't know. I, I I remember I was not really vested in that yeah, as well. Yeah, I but, wasn't either. But I point. yeah, we thought it would be nice yeah. to just do it. So. Yeah, I mean, we did all of that. It felt like every stage of our my schooling, yeah, we just had to be something. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, yeah it I just think it's happens. just something natural. So let's talk about our journalism career. I know this is something that I talked about in a video already. Mm -hmm. How I started, how it was such a challenge for me to actually get into QTV and all of that. Maybe you will also talk about how challenging it was to get into GRTS. <laughs> For me, this was like a, I decided to do like a whole video of itself mm -hmm. because it was so challenging for me. I can remember when I went into that interview hall and I saw all those people and I'm like, why me? I'm not going to be in here because mm -hmm. all of these people are yeah. so experienced and all of that. Mm -hmm. Remember when I got the job and some of my colleagues were looking at me like, Halabunda Obi, what is she doing here? Mm -hmm. When I said to myself, I'm going to start a program, people yeah. were like, Harabesikanam, and Youth yeah. Dialogue is the first program mm -hmm. of QTV at the mm -hmm. end of the day. Yeah. So for me, it was a whole transition. This I talked about in a particular Pretty video. Sure, yeah. So let's hear <laughs> yours. How was the journey? I know well, you started as an intern, and eventually, yeah. here you are now. I think my journey, most of you know it. Yes. Like, it, wasn't, <laughs> it, was, it was not the easiest. Yeah. Yeah, but I think, um, yeah, I started as an intern yeah. uh, when I just graduated from high school, 2016, yeah. started as an intern. And I, the, the people I started with, mm -hmm. Betty and others, all left because they had passion for something yeah. else. And for me, when it was time to choose what to do, mm -hmm. In, high, in university, yeah. I didn't want to do law. Yeah. I didn't want to study at uh, Brikama because I felt like the the, the um, environment was just not, not yeah, very conducive yeah, for the students. Yeah. And I thought, you know what, let's just do journalism because yeah. at the end of the day, I'm already doing something similar yeah. at, at, at the office there. Yeah. And I was already falling in love with it. Mm. So that was how I started doing the school and doing the internship as well. Mm. And yeah, it was it was it was a whole lot of two years. Yeah. Right. I did the internship for a whole year, I think, and then the, the other year, I was just there as yeah. a volunteer, yeah. just doing everything that came along yeah. the line. And I remember my friends were like, "This is not really working. Like, yeah. you should try something else." Yeah. And I remember at some point we were like, "Do you?" Yeah, feel like I was this is so mad want? about yeah. it because I felt like it was so unfair no, that I you mean, had to me, do that. Uh, because I'm not somebody who is always in a in a hurry for things. Some, yeah for things. Yeah. I just like them to to fall yeah. in place eventually. So I felt like this could be my calling. Yeah. And um, I'm, I, w I was so young. I was just 17. Yeah. And I felt what was there to rush for? Oh, yeah. You know, I also had people in the in the in the office there. Our guy yeah. would always tell me that y you have to. This stay. is you. Marisha. Yeah. You were meant for this. No yeah. matter what happened. Like you no, know, I remember at some point they wrote a letter for interns to leave yeah. because. We were just there and we were not leaving, so yeah. we had. We, they wanted us to leave, yeah. and I was like, "Keep coming! Like yeah. you should come because yeah. I feel like this is your future." Yeah. For me, at a point, I didn't see that, yeah. but you know, sometimes it's good to listen. Yeah. I was doing the whole YPM stuff because you know I, I was in the young people in the media. Yeah. I was vice president and some point, I eventually became the interim yeah. president. Yeah. So at that point, I was already occupied with work at YPM. Yeah. Abdul was still there, yeah. so we were doing other things, and I was not very much vested in what JRTS was bringing on board. But eventually, I don't know how we all fell in place it was again. Just supposed to happen. And then I went back for some reason. Yeah. I, don't, I can't even remember how, how it happened. Yeah. So I just got back. And this time around, it was different. Yeah. You know, we, I started doing other things, mm. you know, so much into the Good Morning Gami production, yeah. doing feature stories. It, it felt like I came back stronger yeah. at some point, I don't know. Yeah. And so this was how it happened. At the end of it, after, after some four months, I got my contract. Yeah. And then after I got my contract, the moment my contract ended yeah. was when I got my staff letter. Okay. And I was I was staffed immediately. Okay. So yeah, it, it, it came. It was not all rosy, but alhamdulillah, we climbed we climbed the ladder and proud to say. And yeah, eventually a year after I got my staff letter, yeah. I got promoted the, the following year. That's so good. I felt like for me it was like hard work upon hard yeah. work. Hard work yeah, and it not, was based on that. Yeah. I think we have similar I wasn't an intern, I was a staff obviously. Yeah. But I was a staff on the basis of okay, I was the youngest there. And all of these people that I was I was with at the time, they were either from the radio station okay. or a newspaper or something. And I wasn't from any of these. Mm. I was from the Fashion Network and I can remember I just wrote two stories there mm. and I saw QTV on the newspaper and I eventually applied. Mm. So it was a really, really big challenge for me. My respect came when I started Youth Dialogue as the first magazine program for QTV and the first woman to read the news on QTV. Mm -hmm. Then the respect 
came in, started producing and all of that. So the respect <laughs> came so and they, was immediately in yeah. place because mm -hmm. they tend to realize that, okay, oh my God, that she girl, there's something it, in yeah. her. <laughs> yeah, and, and at the end of the day, the experience was in there, yeah. but it was purely based on talent, nothing yeah. more. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, when I was coming to Jatis, it wasn't planned, honestly. Yeah. On the internship, yeah. it wasn't planned. Yeah. I, we, it was, I remember it was through EFAF, Education yeah. for Africa's Future. Yeah. And so they were helping um, young graduates from high school to secure internships yeah, exactly. in institutions yeah. that they wanted to be in. And I remember I applied for another institution to wow. be something else. Wow. JRTS didn't even click. Co yeah. So when Martha saw it and, and she told me like, okay, I saw your motivational letter, I saw your CV. Yeah. Why not do JRTS? Yes. Because prior I was doing obviously young people in the media yeah. and we were using the media, the radio, to advocate for child's rights. Sure, I used to listen to yes. that a lot. So Martha felt like all of this and you wanted to do international relations, yeah. I think JRTS will give you the network and yeah. all of that. So try try that. I said, okay, Betty and Suke were going to JRTS. Okay. The following Monday and I followed them and we went. Okay. So for me that was how it happened. It was not even planned. Yeah. It just fell it was in just place. Meant to be. Yes. And the whole the way things started coming when I you know the, the, the reporting, the production obviously production is my thing. Yeah. I'm a I'm a I'm a I, that's why most times I just call myself a broadcaster. Yeah. But you know, we were, I was doing production before and then later on you know, I started doing the newsroom, the yeah. reporting and everything started falling in place. I saw myself on the news desk yeah. earlier than I expected. I mean, alhamdulillah. Yeah, it's like I said the other time, I was talking about the fact that if I told people where I started from, even when it comes to pay and where I am now, I'm not saying it's the best position, mm -hmm. but like I always say, it's a state of saying alhamdulillah yeah. a lot of times because it's been tough, but as long as we're able to get here, yeah. it means we, we worked for it. Very well. So let's talk about another thing. Mm -hmm. I know your dad at some point didn't raise you. Mm -hmm. It's just your mom in a way. Mm -hmm. But at some point he was there and not there at some yeah. point. Mm -hmm. So I just want to know how that felt and okay. how you were able to cope with it. And okay. I will get to share mine and mm -hmm. maybe you can give me tips because yeah. I, I, it's hard for me to do <laughs> it, but probably yeah. you can just talk about it. Right. So obviously my dad and my mom met here because yeah. my dad came through an international appointment. Yeah. So they met and they got married and we are, we are five and Keba are six. Yeah. Um, so we are like six Moloshes, basically. Yeah. The twins are there as well, Mariama, Fatima and Keba. Yeah. Um, so my dad obviously was a very important, integral part of my childhood yeah. upbringing. Okay. He was very much involved okay. and for him, being with his children was such a priority for him. That's I remember when he was going to work, he would hug me. Oh. I was a kid, he would hug me and give me a kiss. And you can still remember I that? I can remember that. Okay. And I, I remember that it was such a, it was a thing for me. I'm like, my dad oh. hugging me. <laughs> but I know when, I, when I'm reminiscing days of, yeah. of my dad, that's one thing that always comes. Yeah. The fact that, you know, the, that hugging and the kissing part, yeah. it was so nice to me. But at some point he got sick. Yeah. I think I was in grade seven. I was about twelve years old. Yeah. At twelve a time. or thirteen years old. Yeah. He got sick and obviously he was trying with my mom to just make sure he got the treatment. But it wasn't just working. So I have other siblings in, in Zambia because yeah. my dad had, had another wife there. Yeah. She passed not long. My yeah. stepmom you yeah, all saw sure. that. Yeah. And um, they wanted him to go there and get the treatment uh, he, he deserved. So that was how he went back and Unfortunately, he couldn't come back because he, he's sick yeah. and obviously he cannot just be going and coming yeah. and he thought it would be best that he stayed. Okay. Um, eventually, that was how it happened and he got divorced with my mom. So my mom had to raise us alone yeah. at that point. Yeah. But I think it would be unfair to say that my dad was not a very important part of my life. He yeah. was considering the fact that these small affections yeah and, and no and he, he was somebody who just wanted to be there for his family That's a and good thing. i remember when he got sick because my dad did a lot for this country yeah he trained a lot of people wow um even from the un he did the local government tango he helped yeah. raise oh, wow. a lot of organizations oh, wow. so that's why when i go to events people say people, oh, it's oh Mr. Yeah, dad. Yeah. Yes. because he did a lot of uh, community work as well so he was somebody who did even though when he when he got sick he yeah. wouldn't go to work he thought it would not be nice to secure scholarships for us. Yeah. He told my mom he did not want anybody to pay for his kids' chill, um, school fees. Oh, look at that. He still wanted to do more for yeah, us. Yeah, despite being yes, in that so, position. But my mom, strong as she is, had to double up. Yeah, she had to. Yes, and, and step in and yeah. play the role of the dad and the mom. Mom, yeah. So she did that. So I think both of them, 
they all know where they started. Yeah. My my mom had did not have to do much yeah. because my dad was basically obviously he was okay. So the foundation was yes, there. it was there. I, he put us in good schools. None of us went to private school, um, um, public, public schools. schools back then. Yeah. It was such a priority for him to give his kids the life yeah, that they, they deserve. deserve. So when he got sick, that was understandable that he couldn't be there anymore because his speech be was gone and his hand he was writing with was, wasn't there anymore. Okay. He wow. got stroke. Okay. So my mom knew that she had to step up. She had, and know? she did. So she did. And when they were they divorced, that was understandable. And then obviously, this was, it was something that I wanted to discuss, you know, on my own as well, in my own space. So, yeah. But I think it's 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 okay. Yeah. I mean, so it happened, and they went back, and we we could call come to uh, come to terms yeah. with that. And then my mom moved on now, yeah. and alhamdulillah, it took her almost eight years before she could move, move on. Move on. But my dad already had a wife there yeah. in Zambia, so it was okay. My other siblings are there as well, and they're also very helpful. We're communicating. Yeah. And that for him was such an important part. And for my stepmom as well, it was such a big deal for her to unite all of us together. And I love that. And she did that before she died. Uh, that's a good thing. And I think it's something that I'll remember her for and yeah. be thankful for. Yeah. For. And, I, and yeah. I really love that. And yeah. I'm really happy that you're able to share this with me yeah. on my own platform without you know talking about it on your platform yeah, yeah? it means a lot to me mm -hmm. that is why I feel like I I just want it to be a safe space for my friends mm -hmm. where we could just be coming and having chats like yeah. this so I think you know I'll be talking about this in depth yeah, as well. Yeah, I think at some point we were all raised by single parents. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be talking about this at some point yeah. in another video in depth, mm -hmm. not today, which might be a bit emotional because it is for me. My grandma raised me, obviously, you guys mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. A mom nor a dad was there at the time. So I do not even know how it feels to have a mom or a dad. I don't have a clue mm -hmm. how it feels. Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the emotions involved in it or anything. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I think that makes me a very, you know, heartless individual. Sometimes <laughs> that's how I feel with my actions sometimes, mm -hmm. with the way I behave. So I think that has affected me as an individual and has affected the way I deal with people. Mm -hmm the way I see people, the way I even see people who are close to me. Sometimes I hurt people who are close to me without even knowing. No, and sometimes when I sit back, I'm like, what did I just do? It's because I'm so angry and I, I'm so angry at everybody around me. But I think I'm improving gradually yeah. about my anger. I used to be worse at a time whereby every little thing I'm mad about it because I'm mad. So I think I'm improving on it gradually yeah. because now I'm open about it and I'm talking about yeah, it. And you're so, able to let go. And just yeah, live. I'm not letting go, to be honest. I'm, I always tell you that, like, just let, let it go. go. But yeah. I, I, I'm still working on that. Yeah. I'm not going to come here and pretend that mm -hmm. I've, I'm letting go mm -hmm. or <laughs> I'm this person process, that I'm not. Yeah. So the process cannot happen in a day. Mm -hmm. I know this is something people have been singing to me, but it can't just happen in a day. Mm -hmm. I, I can't let go right now. I'm still mad. I'm Walking. still very angry. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to see how best I can just do it gradually, gradually. Mm -hmm. Because if I force it as well, I just feel like I'm going to do something I don't want to do mm -hmm. or hurt myself. It's crazy. Yeah. I think parents are a very integral part of any child's upbringing. Yeah. Like, you know, the affection, the love. Like for me, uh, to be mad, of my, mad about my dad, I could be, but it's something that I couldn't do because yeah. at least I've seen him at a point and what he was, You've had his yeah, hug, what his he was able to do. Yeah. But I think sometimes it just happens that our mom sometimes step up and, and yeah. come. And it cannot be like that for everybody else. Yeah. But I, I think sometimes at some point our stories can defar. Yeah. But I think, you know, it's just crazy. Yeah, so my grandma raised me actually. And I think she did well. She was very strict. You know, she was a very, very strict grandma. And I'm a very stubborn person. You know, that's mm -hmm. something that I answered in my previous video about why I am very stubborn. But at some point I say I'm stubborn for a good reason. Mm -hmm. Anyway, this is something that I'm going to discuss in another video probably because I think um, we're about to wrap up very soon. Yeah. Fatu, I am so happy that you're able to share such a personal story on my platform. Mm -hmm. I am so excited about it. So emotional. I'm just trying to press it down. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm just trying to do that. That's cool. Yeah, so... What do you have to tell my viewers, my little family? <laughs> hey guys, just so you know, it's yeah. been great being here. Yeah. Jay obviously um, 
Well, if you were seeing other videos that I've posted on my... Oh, by the way, yes, my channel is also, also there, Fatima yeah. Loshi. Yeah, we'll have the yeah. thing on. We'll have the thing yeah, on. Yes. You can and she's it. starting a shoe brand as well. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes. I'm starting a shoe brand, yeah. Shoes by Mulo. You can yeah. also check that on Instagram. Yeah. And I, for me, I just feel like... You know, embrace life as it comes. Sometimes I, I get these ideas in my head. Yeah. I uh, speak to some people people about it and they're okay with it. I'm just like, okay, before wasting time, let me just do it. Yeah. And, you know, with the YouTube, it also just fell in place yeah. and happen, it started happening. Yeah. And it's also, you know, very light and stuff because I just want to be free, you know, just yeah. be on my own. GRTS is so people. structured, yes, so exactly. formal. <laughs> so I think this is a chance yeah. for all of us and to we've just... we've seen a couple yeah. of videos there as well. Yeah. You can check it um, as well. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be talking here often. Yeah, we will We'll be talking here often and we forgot to talk about relationship stuff so we're going to have <laughs> another i'm like okay i hope she doesn't go there because she told me we are going we to talk about, about relationship, relationship well. but because we don't have enough time but we're going to have another i die we are going to have another one where we'll be talking about relationship stuff we could just, what we look out for what do i look out for what what do you look out for in a man are you kidding me like, yes. are you like oh my god what i look out for it's a very tricky question, honestly, because to me, you just have to be a simple man. Okay. Like, there's nothing to die for it, yeah. honestly. For me, you just have to be simple, honestly. Yeah. If, if I feel like this is a person that is going to make me feel that I have to be more to be present, yeah. I can't feel it. Yeah. Just be you, I mean, just be a simple person, and as long as I can be comfortable around you, I'm somebody who gets who gets ideas yeah. all the time yeah. and I'm somebody who is wanting to grow all yeah. the time. Yeah. I need somebody who can share my dreams. Yeah. I, I need somebody who can be there for thing. me emotionally. Yeah. I'm someone who can feel like today I don't want to be at home. I just want to go to the beach and eat food there. Yeah. And, and the like, husband also has to be somebody that should accept that. She'll be having okay, people around yes. to have food. Honestly, I think that's what I'm <laughs> Because I like to cook and invite people over. Yeah, she likes to do yes, that. And just want to go with the girls and just be okay. Yeah. And it would be unfair to say that stability is not important for me because yeah. with my station, I need somebody who can, you know, compliment. So is this person going to be a media personality? Um, uh, I think I don't... GPU is trying a journalist for journalist. Oh, journalist for journalist. Is that I... going to work? I don't know. I'm not, I've not been paying attention. Yeah, to I've that, been teasing. Honestly. I've been teasing the, uh, some of the boys at my office. Yeah. So when they say journalist for journalists, I'm like, "Yen bugun len." Monelen. Agu monelen. Yen bugun. Man monelen. Yun bugun len. I will len for for no no. I don't know. I've not been thinking about that honestly, but yeah. I think yeah, all I've said, I, I don't know. It's important that we meet each other halfway, me and my partner. Um, if I am to settle. God knows, you never know where love comes yeah, from. Yeah, you never know. I hope we can just meet, meet meet each other halfway i pray for that when it happens okay i don't know what what would happen all right so tell my people to subscribe hit the notification bell and like this video hey guys listen <laughs> subscribe okay do not move press that button put on the notification bell and yeah like this video so that many people can see it and share yeah so guys if you want me to continue giving you guys amazing content and stay motivated to provide videos for you guys you guys have to subscribe okay. if you don't subscribe like or hit the notification mm -hmm. bell i'm not going to be motivated mm -hmm. to continue so make sure to do that so see you on my next video yeah bye <laughs>